friends and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia and today we are going to make a card with the new Stampin' Up! dies Give It a Whirl. This is so cute. We just love these cards. We are going to make a card for July 4th because it's just around the corner. Here is the card that we made. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness, we use some beautiful DSP on the front. I'll show you this in more detail just a little bit later. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do when you get this die set is go ahead, open it up, and just look at all the different dies you get. And then take out the ones that you need so that we don't get confused with all these die sets. So we are just taking out the one that we'll use for our base card. This is the window that we've selected to use. You'll also need to take out this little bitty die set that makes your arrows for you. Don't lose those. And then of course you're going to need the wheel. And then you can put the other ones up to the side. Now something that we created that we really like is we created a template with our cutout windows. So now you can take out your catalog. You can go through all the catalog and see which window really fits best the picture that you want to use. That's what Maudie and I did. We just went through all the stamps that we have and we decided what would we want to make and how would we want to make it by using this template. So easy to do. Just put your windows on a piece of cardstock and run it through your machine. We are going to take this base plate right here and we're simply going to tape it to our cardstock and now we're going to take our little window and we are going to line that up right where it needs to be and go ahead and do that at the same time. So we're gonna run this through our machine and we'll be right back. Okay, and so we have it cut out. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this through the embossing folder because we want this to have a beautiful design on the front. Look how pretty that looks. Doesn't it look padded almost? Now the next thing you need to cut out so that we have all our mechanisms cut out is take a white piece of paper and get this cut out. Now before you take this off of your paper, go ahead and line it down because you want to trace around this design so that you know exactly where to put your sentiment that you're going to use. And you can erase this later on. Just some very soft lines. And there you have it. You can still see exactly the area that you want to put your designs in. Now we have decided to use part of June 2020 Paper Pumpkin as well as the beautiful stars that you can get out of this Stitch Stars dies. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. So we've gone ahead and we have cut out all the stars that we want to use. So let's just bring those up and get those ready. We also selected the brad that is just a very, very small circle. Now you could also do it where the brad doesn't show, but that doesn't really bother us for this particular card. So we're going to go ahead and just let, let it be exposed. So we've cut out the front panel. We cut out the actual mechanism and we are cutting out an extra circle. This is going to go on the back of our turning mechanism. It really just lets it turn much easier, and you'll see why in just a moment. We're going to go ahead and stamp our design that we're going to use, and the first one we're going to stamp is You Light Up My Life, and we're going to stamp that in blue. Now, when you go to stamp this, make sure that you're stamping it correctly. So go ahead and put your triangle up at the very top because you might accidentally stamp it upside down if you don't do that. And just hold it for good contact. Now we are also going to bring in some cute little stars that they have and we're going to make those red and blue. Okay, the next one we're going to use is we're going to turn it 
and we are going to bring in the fireworks starburst that they have. So pretty. And we're going to double stamp it. So we're going to stamp the red. And now we're going to turn it and stamp with the blue. We're going to stamp this in red, a firework red, and then we're going to stamp across it in blue. And notice how I'm going over. You can go over because only a certain portion of it is going to show. And before you put it together, you need to go ahead and erase all your lines. Okay, so now we're just going to move it and see how it moves. Right here is where we need it. So we're going to lay it down and we're going to open up our brad. And now we're going to put two dimensionals on either side of the brad. And that's just going to help it position itself on the card and really provide that extra shim that allows the wheel to move even better. Now, when you put your dimensionals on the back of this card, you really need to keep them on the outside of this wheel. So we'll put them in the corners and then we'll put them down here and you can put just a few right there. Okay, we'll go ahead and take the back off. And you want to make sure and take the backs off the inside right here where you placed it on the either side of the brad. Bring this in and go ahead and get it centered right on your card. Now we're choosing to decorate our card after we get it situated so we can tell exactly where we want it. Now look at that. You light up my life. It's a party. And then there's some fireworks. Oh my goodness. Now we're going to go ahead and put our little bitty arrow right here so that we don't lose it because he is so small. I'm going to put some glue on my paper. Just a little bit. Just a tiny dab of glue. Get it on the back of my arrow. And then put it right where we want it right there. We already cut this out from the die set that we mentioned. We're going to put it right here and we just going to add some more glue to our paper. So we're just going to kind of drag it through our glue. So we're going to go ahead and add some stars that we cut out using those stitch stars. So beautiful. We're going to use a smaller star inside it. And now we're going to add a few stars up here, some smaller stars. Now something else you can do to this one is you can add this star right back in there to give it some more dimension, which I think we'll go ahead and do. Just put a little bit of glue on the back of it. Put him right back in that cutout. Look at that. And I think we have one more that we might be able to put in right there. So now we have our front decorated and we need to go ahead and put our sentiment strip right here in the middle. We've decided to take Celebrate Sunflowers and stamp Let's Celebrate and not stamp the U. We're just going to ink this up and put a piece of tape right over here. We're now just going to cut that down to size. And we are going to lay this down right at an angle. We're going to use our mini dimensional. Okay, and now we're going to lay the inside of the card down so that you can write your sentiment. And I think we need to go ahead and put a firework starburst right here in the corner with our two colors. Thank you. 
And there we have our Give It A Whirl card. Look at this. So pretty. Perfect for July 4th. Open it up. You have plenty of room for your sentiment. But really, this is just so beautiful. These stars, I feel, just make it. Really make it seem like it's a celebration card. Let's go ahead and look at our bird that we did more closely. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those flowers that we stamped. We stamped a sentiment. Thanks for being you. And your friendship means the world to me. Now look very closely what we did. We went ahead and we highlighted this area with our daubers. We took it out and just went around it before we laid it down just to give it some highlight and to really pop. And then we put our sentiment down here. Now look at, we used the bigger arrow right here to show to move it. You open it up and we use the DSP to cut out the bird. Now, of course, I had to do one that was all about peaches. So we have our have a peachy day. We also said sweet as a peach. And then we put some peaches with the green leaves. Now on this one, we also highlighted with granny apple green around the side just to make it pop. We added happy birthday. And then we put some more peaches on the inside. Well, did you like these cards? We are so excited about this die set, and it really is very easy to make this card. Just remember, open up the die set, take out those three dies that you need, and put the rest aside, and then just go for it. You can be so creative in this. We hope that our cards gave you a little bit of inspiration. Take just a moment to give us a like and share and subscribe if you haven't already done that. Well, listen, go out, be kind to yourself and others, be creative in your crafting, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.